Hello everybody, it's Tara Zion here from End Time Ministry. Lovely, 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 lovely weather we're having. <laughs> it's very, very cold, but um, you know, I suppose that's London weather. It is uh, January the 25th and I suppose that's why it's very cold. <laughs> and I'm sure in various parts of the world it's freezing. Okay, so I wanted to um, just say like how much I really, really appreciate the views. Um, the views really are for your benefit is, you know, at the end of the day, I don't care about how many views I get. It's just about those people who have seen these videos um, because the Lord speaks to me all the time. And the Lord will say to me, look, I want you to do one video and I want you to speak about this thing or this issue or, you know, what's on my heart. And uh, what's on my heart is to say is that I had a dream um, and the dream was quite scary. Um, it was actually a, another revelation that I got um, and it's about the end times. And uh, the dream was there was all these sheep, you know, um, they were on the green grass and there was fire coming down from the earth, from God. And all the sheep, they were running, but they had no shepherd. So they were just running, you know, away from this fire. And so on the same day, I got the scripture to say, the Lord is at hand. The Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. He which testifieth these things saith, surely I come quickly, amen. Even so, come Lord Jesus, come. So us, you know, born again Christians, we should all be ready for our Holy Lord Jesus Christ um, to be coming soon, because he's coming soon. Um, and so in the same night I had that dream, I opened my daily light, which is what I was reading from, and I got that scripture. So obviously uh, that vision that I got in my dream was obviously the aftermath of when, um, when, when the Armageddon is going to happen. Um, and we are when all Christians are taken up with the Lord and then there's gonna be fire and hell on earth which is exactly what I saw and it's so strange because it wasn't so um, there wasn't so much detail it was just literally like because the Lord he speaks to us all in pictures so it was literally like that um, and so it was actually at four, uh, half past four in the morning so I literally had to just write it down and I did that and so obviously, you know, the Lord is saying that, you know, as Christians, we need to really be spreading the gospel um, by telling people about salvation, you know. Um, and people, you know, you'll probably lose a lot of friends. You won't be that popular. But at the end of the day, it's better to have God as a friend, you know. God, who is our Holy Lord Jesus Christ, who is there for us 24-7 and beyond. Um, it's amazing because for me, as being a Christian, I don't need... I don't need to fill anything. I'm so filled with the Holy Spirit every day. I'm so happy to be alive, to wake up and, you know, uh, have my family around me and read my Bible and, you know, um, do my writing as well. I do lots of writing for God. Um, and just, you know, to walk around with the Lord. I walk in the park with Him, I talk to Him. As I said, take out your earphones, pretend you're on the phone and speak to God. And you know, he will help you, he will guide you. Um, and also what I've noticed when I go to churches, um, when I go to a church, sorry, one in particular I went to, um, and people, when they're on the stage, the Lord calls it stage, uh, you know, reading the gospel, reading out Psalms, giving a sermon, you meet them off the stage, and there's no love there, there's no, um, what they practice, they don't, what they preach, they don't practice. I don't feel, I'm not feeling love from certain um, Christians when I go to, um, you know, certain conferences that I've been to. You know, we should be in the body. 
we should be, you know, um, cooking with each other, making, uh, doing Bible studies together. I'm not saying that we all don't do that. I'm just saying from my experience recently, so I'm actually prophesying to saying that as Christians, we need to really show the love of Jesus Christ and be there for one another and really appreciate one another. Um, for things that, for other Christians, they do a lot for ministers, um, they do a lot for brothers and sisters and uh, the Lord is saying that they're getting taken for granted and people really really need to really think back of all the people who have helped you in your life um, within your ministry um, and to also you know uh, give them a phone call send them a text message say thank you that's what the Lord is saying is be thankful to your brothers and sisters um, and uh, also you know again what can I say it's like um, Today I was walking down uh, Piccadilly and I saw this homeless guy, you know, and there's so many of homeless people out there and, and they're, they're so cold, you know, and I just sat there and, and I gave him something to eat and some, you know, something to drink and he had no socks, he had no shoes, so I got him like these thermal socks and uh, it gave me, a, it gave me um, a chance to actually speak the gospel to him and tell him about Christ and as I was speaking to him, a few ladies came and dropped money in his um, little dish and he's like yeah you know what I really really want to um, start my own business you know I want to um, you know have a hostel you know have somewhere to live and I said you would and this gentleman you know he's a lovely looking guy he's called Paul um, please keep him in your prayers um, so he, he has one he has one crack crutch you know and he has one crutch in his hand and he has his carrier bag in his hand and so he was walking off because I went back to buy him this thermal socks. And so I ran after him, because I couldn't find him there. And I said to him, look, I've got these socks for you. So that's what we need to do as Christians. We have to practice what we preach, you know, because a lot of non-believers especially, they see it like, okay, well, this person's a Christian, but they don't act like a Christian. You understand? If we're gonna go and, and, and speak the gospel to people, we also have to live it. If we're gonna call ourselves born again Christians, we have to live that. We have to live as what the what as what we are, as what our Holy Lord Jesus Christ is. We have to be like God, you know. Obviously, no one can be like God, but I mean, how how Jesus Christ was on earth. That's how we have to be. You understand? Um, and so, I just wanted to um, close with a scripture, and it says, "My well beloved hath a vineyard in a very fruitful hill." And he fenced it and gathered out the stones thereof and planted it with the, cho with the choicest vine. And he looked at it that it should bring forth grapes and it brought forth wild grapes. Yet I had planted thee a noble vine, wholly a right seed. How then art thou turned into the uh, degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? The works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such alike. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. The Lord says, I am the true vine, and my Father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit he taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit, he purge it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Abide in me, and I in you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so that ye be my disciples. Amen. So exactly what the Lord has told me to say. We've got to have good fruit. You understand? We've got to have, and to have good fruit is we have to be, uh, you know, cleansed from within, you know, to produce the good fruit. Um, so, yeah, so I just would like to say that, you know, this is just a short little video um, because it is really, really cold and my hands are really, really hurting. Um, but I just want to say that, yeah, I will be putting up more videos, um, hopefully. Um, and God bless you. And um, also, you know, to say that whoever's watching this video is a prodigal son, a prodigal daughter. Um, the Lord is asking you to come home and don't be afraid, you know, um, and to repent and confess that Jesus Christ is God in the flesh and who, uh, who died on the cross for your sins to give you eternal life. And then you will be saved, okay? 
um, Christians, you know, we need to stick together, love one another as we do. Um, you know, help the poor people, they need our help as well. Um, and just, you know, spread the love of Jesus Christ and, you know, get the gospel out there, get some tracks, you know, just leave them around, you know, if you're shy to speak to, speak to people. Um, and yeah, bye bye.